Welcome back guys to another video and today I am flashing a new ROM to my Redmi 2 Prime. This ROM is uh, flashable on normal Redmi 2 with 1GB variant also. So the name of this ROM as you can see from the, uh, from the headline is Fly Me OS. This ROM, the specialty of this ROM is it's the lollipop build and it is the uh, new ROM for our Redmi 2 Prime and uh, why i am installing this rom because it's it's a very new kind of ui and you know if you know me that whenever i try to install a new rom on my phone i only install that kind of roms which are very unique and which have a very uh, new kind of design so that's why i am installing this and the another reason i want to install is this because i don't want to purchase uh, the mizu m2 so why should i purchase that phone because that has a unique ui why don't I flash that UI on my phone if it's available like that right now it's available it's ported for our Redmi 2 Prime and it's on the lollipop build means it's exactly same uh, UI which we will get on the Indian Mizu units the same languages which will be provided on that uh, device will be here everything will be same so now let's go back to the recovery and install the ROM so installing the ROM consists of very simple steps you need to have a custom recovery and you need to be rooted so as you can see we are right now booting into the custom recovery so it will take a second I have installed TWRP and I will provide all the links in the description given below so let me adjust the brightness yep now as you can see yep now it's clear yep so let's go back go back now let's wipe everything you need to wipe sorry wipe advanced wipe you need to go into advanced wipe then there will be cache system no system cache and data you don't need to uh, clear your external SD and internal storage now select wipe as you can see uh, it has been wiped now now it's time to install the room so let's go and install the room let me see where my room is yep yeah, here fly me so I am flashing the room guys uh, uh, this room will take around uh, around seven to eight minutes uh, to be flashed onto our redmi 2 so guys be patient and don't worry nothing will happen to your phone and uh, I will be back when this setup will be done so guys as you can see uh, let me just let you guys see yeah successful the ROM has been flashed successfully now I'll just wipe the cache and there will be cache now go back uh, let's install some other mods so guys uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, the gaps as you can see that I have right now are not working uh, with the room so i have already tried to flash it with the room with the caps but the thing is cap doesn't work with this one so i need to install any other gaps and i'll surely provide you the links for that gaps also the procedure for installing the gaps is usually the same you need to as you have flash the room you have to flash the games the same steps you need to select the gaps and just swipe to install but this gaps means the TK gaps which is for 5.1.1 isn't working with this uh, right now so let me install some other uh, mods that I usually flash whenever I install the new ROM that is the new uh, the new pure audio engine 2.0 hi-fi studio this is the best mod for our redmi 2 and a lot of positive reviews were there and they are they are true this is the best one so it will only take a second or two to get flashed so as you can see it's installing so many beats asset then installing pure eq smart wave plugin and boom it's successful by cache and the rom is pre-rooted so you don't need to install the super su again and again and this file as you can see up.zip is the super su file so i won't be installing it now so now let's go back 
and go up to wipe advanced wipe and just clear something cache the application data once again now let's reboot the system so now as you can see the me logo appears now white screen come with fly me on top so as you can see fly me so guys this is the boot animation for fly me os now it will take another four to five minutes as it is the first time it is booting so i will be back with the setup screen so guys as you can see now we are presented with the welcome screen now we have to select our language so as i told you earlier also this is the exact same version which which you get with an indian mizu mobile phone so we have tons of languages to select from and we will be selecting english india uh, in the forums there is another version of fly me os which is based on 4.4.4 which is based on the chinese mobile means it will be having english and a one chinese language only and almost every aspect of that rom was having some chinese language so that's why i never installed that one i was waiting for this one because that one also having uh, some camera issues so it will now this one is perfectly fine so as you can see it is showing my uh, villain so as you can see the keyboard uh, guys i will be back with all the setup as you can see i have already told you that this is a pre rooted rom so as you can see we are now so guys now i think now it's time to go and check this out and i will be back with my full review for this rom and i will tell you a lot a lot more about this rom what are the best features about this rom so that's it for this video guys hope you like this video and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel my channel name is kanmuldeep and hope to see you in my next video thank you guys